coach just your general thoughts on last weekend uh disappointed with friday i didn't think we gave ourselves much of a chance uh, a lot had to do with our opponent um like the way we responded saturday you know we went in the third period with a with a one goal lead and um at home a good place to be um they've got some some elite players that made some uh, big time plays and unfortunately we came on the came uh, came out on the wrong side of things but not unhappy with the way we played saturday um i think overall we have to give ourselves two chances every weekend especially against the best teams in the country who we seem to be playing every week in our league um and we didn't do that we, we, we cannot put all our eggs into a saturday night basket because friday night we don't show up and and then you leave it to chance and i think you know we ran into some penalty problems on on saturday and um you know we had a bunch of good efforts you know our ludwig comes to mind with a good effort and and, and i could continue but um that, that's overall the thought you know i think our, our young people are consistently getting continuously getting valuable experience against um, you know, uh, top teams and in and, and hard situations and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we want to we want to execute better, and and uh, and that's more Saturday. And then Friday we need to show up and compete harder. Points of emphasis for Western Michigan this week. What will it take to be successful against them? I think we have to take care of the puck um, starting Friday night, the first period, uh, the first shift. Um, if we allow them to face up ice all weekend, they're gonna they're gonna transition and they're gonna hurt us. And they come at you harder in this rink than most teams do. They're really really good at home. They're they've got a really great student section and they they do a nice job of of, of creating momentum for their team. But then their team feeds off of that and they forecheck extremely hard. Um, we have to take care of the puck. What ends up happening is if you start slow and not on time and you're on your heels and not on your toes, you end up, you know, obviously you're, you're, you're putting yourself in a tough spot and you're hooking, you're holding, you're, you're just trying to hang on and, and, and there's no reason for that. So our, our points of emphasis are going to be start on time, um, make sure we're, we're locked in mentally and physically to the battle and, uh, and then we're going to have to take care of the puck. Those are going to be, uh, those are going to be keys going into Kalamazoo this weekend. You mentioned some of that elite talent with Mazer here this weekend. Do you think the freshmen are taking learning points from get that first experience against elite talent here this weekend? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, Carter's not the only one. Obviously, he's one of the better players in the country. I don't think we need to see a lot of teams to, to know that. That's no disrespect to anybody. But, um, you know, Rizzo's a good player. Barron's um, by him. I mean, their whole decor is, is returning from last year. I don't, and, and then their goaltender at six foot five. I mean, you know, that, that's, that's life in the NCHC, man. Um, defending national champion five defensemen returning in their goaltender never mind maybe two or three of, of, of the top forwards in the country um uh and and you, you we we find ourselves on the wrong side of a play here a play there or we find ourselves on the wrong side of a poor effort on friday night that that can't happen those are those are things you can't simulate in practice man you, those are things you have to live through and um, our older people have lived through it. We've lived through it together over the last few years. Our younger people get a taste there. And um, uh, this weekend coming up is a whole other deal because this is a really good team. All the things I just talked about. Plus, you've got to deal with uh, a ruckus crowd who... Um, I mean, there's a there's a Western Michigan Miami rivalry. It's a Mid American Conference foe. It's it's it, I think we're recognizable to their fan base, just like they're recognizable to ours. Um, yeah, we're we're walking into uh, a hostile hostile territory this weekend for sure. And penalties you brought up as well. There's been a lot of costly penalties, or just yeah. a lot of penalties in games. How do you plan on? Being more disciplined. Well, the, the the major ones are the ones that have concerned me to this point. Uh, I think you know, for example, Hampus's decision on Friday was a poor decision. The minors on Saturday, I, I, I you know, I, I think there was some circumstance there. Um, it, it it concerns me because it was six minors. It concerns me that the timing of those minors was was obviously poor. One of them made us put down five on three in the third period. But I didn't think the decisions were as blatantly poor as, as the majors have been to this point. I say that because with majors, you can hold people accountable or they get kicked out of the game and the kind of the game holds them accountable. 
the minors, you want them to play hard and, and, and pay attention to detail and be disciplined with their actions. And I think for the most part, we, we, we were doing that. It, it just, it, it just all, we couldn't stop that momentum uh, in terms of minor pen. I think it was six minors in a row after having four power plays in a row. Um, so I, I, I'm not as uh, upset about those decisions. We have to clean it up. I, I think somewhere between two and four minors a night is something that's realistic. Uh, six is too many. The reality is we also had a power play opportunity at three to two for Denver on Saturday night that we didn't score on. So we had a chance. We just didn't take advantage of it. Um, so we're going we're gonna to continue to talk about our discipline, continue to talk about playing right to the edge and right to the line without going over. Um, going over, you're out of control, and you bring in major penalties and, and just poor decisions into that conversation. And, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see signs of that as we, as we move forward here. Hey, Robbie, just your general thoughts on what happened last weekend. Um, you know, I think it was, was a decent weekend. Um, I think Friday night we were kind of chasing the game a little bit. Um, I think Saturday we kind of found our legs, um, gave ourselves a chance to win, and um, ultimately, you know, they're a good team. But, um, you know, I thought – the weekend we can take some positives and learn from the negatives. What sort of positives could you take away from last weekend? Uh, yeah, I think the uh, the battles, I think our, our our intensity on Saturday was really good. Um, I think it was something that we, we fixed from Friday. Uh, I think our overall intensity was just something that if we continue that, um, we can, you know, we're going to be a handful for a lot of teams. Western Michigan coming up, another big challenge on the road. What sort of things is the team emphasizing in the locker room this week ahead of playing the Broncos? Yeah, we obviously know that it's a pretty tough place to play. Um, one of the best places, um, you know, in college hockey. So um, we're just going to make sure that our preparation is, is just like every other week. Um, you know, we know what we have to do on, on road trips. And um, we obviously know the first five minutes of, of that first Friday night game is going to be really key. And, um, you know, we're going to be ready. So Against a guy like Carter Mazur, you guys sort of had a bit of difficulty containing him. What sort of points are you taking away from that? Yeah, we know that in our league, we play against good players every night. Um, you know, next weekend is no different. The weekend after is no different. So, you know, when we can, um, you know, identify the best players on each team, and we just got to make sure that we do a job of whoever's on the ice locking down and, and just, you know, making it a job to, to not let them produce. And um, ultimately, I mean, you know, they're good. He's a good player. So, you know, got to give him, um, you know, a little bit of credit. But we also got to make sure that we're doing our, our job.